Okay. Let's go visit the tavern. Tell the tell the good men that I have got there. Where's that merchant at? Isn't he up here? Maybe he's up there. Yeah. Sometimes they hide in the second floor. There we are. That's the traveler, and there is the merchant of Sargon. Splendid work. You have hired enough men to take on bandits. Now, travelers entering Sargot have told us that there is a small group of robbers lurking on the outside of town. I suspect that they are from the same band, the one that took my brother. Hunt them down and defeat them, and make them disclose the location of their lair. Very well. I shall hunt the bat for the bandits. Okay. Uh, should I sell my products? Yeah, I should sell my products. Eh. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Let's trade the armors. Ooh, that's some good money. Yeah, it, it helps. Okay, I'm good on food. I'm not going to say I'm good on money, but I think this will be sufficient for the amount of men I have. I hope. We see. Let me take a look at the quick look at the party. Uh, no, it probably won't be sufficient. That wicked class is too high. And there is the four robbers. Sup, guys? How you doing? Uh, what do you want? I've been looking for you. Tell me where you keep your prisoners and I'll let you go. Huh? Those prisoners are only going free if you pay the ransom. Did you bring any silver? No, but I brought steel. Yeah, I'm just gonna destroy these guys. Not even... Let's go, Terrence and Bob and company. <laughs> like, let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah. Hey, oh yeah, that was too fast to get that second swing. I think there's victory is ours. Ugh. No casualty. Ah, oh, spare me, spare my life. Let me go, and I'll go far away from here and learn an honest trade, and you'll never hear of me again. I'll spare your life, but in exchange, I want information. Either you or your mates kidnapped the brother of a prominent merchant in town. Tell me where you're hiding him and give your word that you'll stop troubling the people of this part and you can go free. Oh, bless you, my lady, bless you. We've done the lad no harm. We've been keeping him in our hideout near Finada. I'll describe the area nearby in detail so there's no mistaking, okay? Thank you, madam. Thank you. Okay, I'll take that. And uh, my piggy? Yeah, I'm a little piggy now. I don't, I don't need. I'm past these products. I don't need them anymore. You can keep the, the ragged armor and the butcher's knife. You can keep all that. I'm good. I'm past those products. I'm not rich, but uh, I think I'll, I'll live without those. And there's the kit that hideout. Perfect. Let me just make sure. Militia first, footman, recruit. Uh, actually, I want to put recruit up first. Yeah, recruit up first. Give him a taste of bat. You approach the Haura. The looters don't appear to have spotted you yet, and you can still sneak away on notice. The difficult approach to the tie to the site, down narrow defile. That narrow defile means that the only handful of troops in your party will be able to join the attack, and they'll be they will be unable to bring their horses. If your initial attack fails, the looters will easily be able to make their escape. And the spurs. Do you wish to attack the hideout or wait for another occasion? Now I'm gonna attack the hideout. Let's go. We're doing this now. Let's go, boys. This is happening right now. You guys take the right, I'll take the left. Hopefully the right won't have more than the left. Looks like the right will have more than the left. Oh, fine, we'll all take the right. 
Nah, somebody should get the left. Up on at the right. All right, I just hope somebody spawns here. Otherwise, I'll be incredibly bored. Yeah, see, I'll just, I'll just be right, right back here, and when they, and you know, they, will, they won't, they'll come out of there, and they won't see me. Oh, there was one. How do you come out so fast? Ooh, why did I go through that guy? That was weird. Any more? Doesn't seem like it. There is the good uh, merchant's brother. Thank you. Thank you, my lady, for rescuing me from those, fi from those fiends. Be my brother and Saka put you onto their track. Yes, I told them that I would find you, and I advise you to return to your family as quickly as you can, and be careful on the road, would ya? With their retreat cut off, the looters fall one by one to your determined attack. They hide out and their ill-gotten gains are now yours. Okay, cool. Nice. I'll take this. I'll take that. I'll take that. And, uh... Eh, I'll take this too. And I don't think I need anything of this sort. You can just keep all that. Then again, I am going to town, so it's just like, you know what? Just get it all. This is probably the last time I get everything. Because I'm going to town, and I know I'm going to town. Sweet. I lost one guy there, didn't I? Yeah. Good man. Shame he had died. Sargoth. Here we are. Very well. You received 51 denials. Cool. Armor? Sure. So the armor all that armor for fifty-four. It's okay, no complaints here. Let's go ahead and uh, go to that tavern again. I think they're all upstairs once again. Go figure. There he is. Good old merchant of Sarga. Well, my brother is home safe. I'm not sure what to do with him. Maybe pack him off to a university on South Corradia. That way, if he gets knocked out on the head in a street brawl, no one can say it's my fault. But that's not your problem. Here's the rest of the reward. It was well earned. The money is most welcome, and I'm glad to have been of service. Good. Now, you were... Are you interested in making some more? Possibly. What do you need? Remember how I told you that the bandits had an ally inside the walls? I think I know who it is. The captain of the watch, no less. Some months ago, this captain, seeing the amount of profit we merchants were making from the trade across the frontiers, decided to borrow some money to sponsor a caravan. Unfortunately, like many who are new to the commerce, he failed to realize that great profit only comes with great risk. So he sank all his money into the most expensive commodities, and of course, his caravan was captured and looted, and he lost everything. As a consequence, it seems, our captain turned to villainy to recoup his fortune. I suppose I'd do the same if, the heavens forbid, I ever face in in that in that tenness and ruination now any watch captain worth his salary will have a few thieves and robbers on his payroll to inform on the rest but our captain decides to employ these bastards wholesale he brings them into town and lets them do as they will and takes a share of their take you've heard of the poachers turning turning into gamekeepers. Well, in the unfortunate land of Caradia, sometimes gamekeepers will turn poacher. Luckily, 
there are still few brave, honest souls in the watch who've told me how it works, how he works. Now, here's my plan. I could bring this to the attention of King Ragnar, Lord of the City, but that would mean an inquiry. My ward against the captains and witness can be bought and evidence destroyed. Or maybe the whole thing will be forgotten if the enemy comes across the border again. And I'll get, and all I'll get for my trouble is a knife in the ribs. In time of war, you see, a king's eye wanders from his domain, and his subjects suffer. So I've got another idea. I've got a small group of town folk together, some men in my employ and some others who've lost relatives to these bandits. And we'll storm the captain's homes and bring him in chains before King Ragnar. Hopefully, with a few captured bandits to explain how things stack up. So, yeah, he has a point. Uh, King, right now the Nords are in war with Swadia, so... Yeah, King Ragnar is not going to give... Like, he does not going to care about some poor merchant's problems. So he has to take matters into his own hand, and I will help him. All I need now is someone to lead my army into battle. And I can't think of anyone better than you. So what do you say? How do I know you're telling me the truth? Oh well, I suppose it's possible that I found a dozen bandits who were willing to give their lives to give a passing stranger a false impression of life in all Sargoth. Well, I guess you can't rely... You can't really know my, if my word is good, but I reckon you've learned by now that my money is good and there's another hundred dinars, or maybe a bit more, that's waiting for you. If you do this for me, this last little favor, so what do you say? All right, I'll lead your man. Splendid. It's been a long time since I st staked so much on single throw of the dice, and frankly, I find it exhilarating. My men are ready to move on your word. Are you ready? Yes, give me the sign. Good. Now strike hard, strike fast, and the captain and enhancement won't know what hit him. May the heavens be with you. Would be much cool if he said may the force be with you, but we'll just go on. You leave the tavern and go out to the street. Never looking your men are waiting in every street corner. You can see they have daggers and clubs concealed under their clothes and catch a mixture of fear, anticipation, and pride in the quick looks they throw at you as you pass by, praying that your enemies have not been alarmed, but this is all too obvious. Bunch of flutters. You check your weapons for one last time and prepare yourself for the action ahead. Okay, here we go. It's time. Open at him, lads. Alright, let's go. Oh, what? Help. You wanna try it again? Yeah, awesome. Hang on, I leveled up. Time out, everybody. I leveled up. Go. Let's carry on. Get out of here. Who's next? He actually hit me while I was dodging. He got this. I don't even know where these guys came from. They're probably like the city guard. The remaining few, the remaining few bandits carted off to the town's narrow alleys, only to be hunted down one by one by the Agri Town folk. Make sure that your victory is complete and all the wounded have been taken care of. Making sure that hey, that makes sense. And you and the merchants head to this house. Head, you you. And the merchant head to his house to review the day's event. All right, let's uh, see if there's anything we got. Okay, we're good. Can I take a cabbage? I like want want some cabbage for my crew. Guess not. How some soup? 
I got some soup. No, no soup. No soup for me? Alright. 200 dinars, alright. Ha, well done. I saw at least three of the enemy go down before you. I didn't go down, buddy. Keep fighting. You mean before you went down? Yeah, that's probably what he means. Keep fighting like that, and you'll make quite the name for yourself in this land. Unfortunately, about nine of our lives got themselves wounded. I should go and look. I should go look on on them. Let every villain learn and learn and fear. The, let every villain learn and fear the name Rosalind. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Now a couple of my boys have. The watch captain pinned down in the back room with a knife at his throat. I'll need to go drag him before the King Ragnar and explain what this breach of peace is all about. You don't need to be part of that, though. I'll tell you what. If it all goes well, I'll meet you in the tavern again shortly and let you know how it all came out. If you don't see me in the tavern, but instead see my head on a spike over the city gate, I'll assume you know enough to stay out of town for a while and forget this whole episode ever happened. So, hopefully, we'll meet again. Alright, dude, it's, you know, I hope everything goes out as planned and I wish you the best. Oh, I love the rose on my shield. It is sexy. Alright, I believe. Let's see, let's go to the tavern once again, talk to the guy if he's there. There he is, so I guess he's not dead. Good. Ah, Rosalind. Things didn't go quite well so didn't go quite quite well so well as I hope. Well you're alive. King Ragnar couldn't quite find it in him to overlook my little breach of peace. Of the peace. Oh he's grateful enough that I got rid of his crooked captain, a guard, who led in bandits will let in an enemy army. It's the price, if the price is right, but he can't exactly have me running around here as a lasting reminder of his failure to take care of things himself, of course. That hardly seems fair. Fair? This is Caradia, my dear. Kings do what they will, and the rest of us do as we must. He didn't string me up and instead gave me time to sell my properties. Even put in a word with the other merchants that they best pay me a fair price too. That's gracious enough, as kings go. But he's a weak king. And they all are around here. And weak king must always look to their authority first and justice seconds. I suppose add to the same in his shoes. Anyways, I wouldn't go rubbing your part in this affair in King Ragnar's face, but he's taken a note of you and decided that you're not worth hanging, and that's something to which I'll raise a glass any day of the week. He might even have work for you further down the road, or you can sell your sword to one of his competitors. Anyways, I hope you've learned a bit about what it'll take to stay alive in this troubled land, and I suspect that the money you've earned won't go to waste. Good luck. Alright, cool. Well, that was a nice little uh, end chapter to the um, to this first chapter of Lady Rosalind the f fair. Yeah, she's fair. She's not pretty. She's not ugly. No. No, who am I kidding? She is ugly. Well, you know, uh, you know, if, if I get a couple of drinks, I'm sure I would uh, oblige. I mean, she's a fighter, and I like a woman with spirit. A woman that can fight. I like it. I like it a lot. It's hot. Anyways, guys, uh, this is going to be it for now. Uh, we'll come back next time with more Mutton Blade Warband.